Thank God for Chosen Family. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite hood healer. It's your favorite hood high priestess. It's your favorite motivational dominatrix. It's your favorite auntie, captain, goddess, king in the place to be. And I want to welcome you back to my channel. You could be anywhere in the world, absolutely positively anywhere in the world. As a matter of fact, you are somewhere in the world. And you're sharing a little bit of time and space with me. So thank you, thank you, thank you for that. If you like what I'm doing, if you like what you see, if you're feeling this and if you're feeling me, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit that notifications bell so you can keep up with my shenanigans now let's get into today's video shall we child let me tell you about the power of chosen family this video is inspired by number one two things the fact that uh this is my birthday week Libra season baby and this is my birthday week hello happy birthday to me um and I'm in a lot of I'm in a real reflective space I'm in a real reflective you know space um and number two this video is inspired by two homegirls that just left my house and truth be told these two women these two beautiful beings that left my house are more than my homegirls they are my homegirls but they are my sisters and they are a part of my chosen family. These two women have kept me alive. Their sisterhood has encouraged me. It has motivated me. It has inspired me. It has taught me. Uh, their sisterhood, their friendship has caused me to unlearn unhealthy things and to relearn healthier things. Um, their sisterhood, their friendship, their love, their, their family energy has given me so much. I would not be here if not for my chosen family. I speak a lot uh, on my social media network about how sometimes it's necessary to leave your blood family if they are toxic. Sometimes it's necessary to leave your blood family if they are not interested in growing, if they are not interested in healing, if they are not interested in treating you with kindness and with goodness, uh, if they're not interested in confronting and correcting and dissecting their abusive behavior. Sometimes your best option is to walk all the way away and start a new life um, without them. And that's exactly what I did. A lot of people who walk away from their families um, fail to do one thing that I think is absolutely necessary for your survival out here in these mean streets in this big world by yourself and that is create your chosen family when I left my home I had nothing I had a backpack full of clothes a box full of CDs and journals and that's it right before I got kicked out of my house I began uh, dipping my toe into the poetry world, the outside poetry world. And so I had begun to carve out a tiny little space in that world right before I had gotten kicked out of my family. And fortunately, I had that to go back to when I was re-entering back into society on my own. It is through art that I was able to begin to build my chosen family. And my chosen family is exactly what it says chosen family people who began as friends people who began as homies people who began as lovers maybe but they became so much more than that being out here by myself at 18 years old was hard i fully recognized that i was still a kid in a lot of spaces i knew that this frontal lobe wasn't developed i knew that even though i was so intelligent even though i was so smart even though i was so talented and so capable i knew that there was a lot that i just didn't know because i didn't have the experience i knew that i would need support when i left my house at 18 years old when i was kicked out of my family i was messed up mentally my, abandon, my abandonment issues were flaring. All of my issues were flaring, everything. My depression, my anxiety, everything was on full tilt. And I knew that being on my own and by myself wasn't the wave, it wasn't the thing to do. 
building a chosen family when you have had your family taken from you, ripped away from you, or they walked away from you, or you had to walk away from your family is hard. It requires a lot of trust. It requires you to be brave sometimes, and it requires you to be courageous at other times. And it's not easy. It's not easy at all. But it's worth it. It's absolutely worth it. My chosen family taught me how to love. My chosen family taught me how to be loved. I did not know these things before my chosen family and I am so thankful and grateful that they had the patience and the energy and the time to give to me, to uplift me. My, sh my chosen family has shifted over the years but I'm grateful that there is a core group that is still the same. And every few years, someone appears, the ancestors bring me someone, and they let me know that this person will be a part of my chosen family too. My advice for anybody who has to walk away from toxic family, my advice for anybody who has to walk away from abusive family, my advice for anyone who has to distance them themselves away from family, is to prioritize creating your chosen family. I'm so grateful for the surrogate chosen mothers and fathers. I'm so grateful for the surrogate and chosen cousins. I'm so grateful for the chosen and surrogate brothers and sisters and siblings. I'm so grateful for the chosen and surrogate uncles and aunties that surround me. I'm so grateful for the elders that I've had over the years that have come into my life, recognized who I was, recognized what I had to give and taught me so much. I'm grateful for all of the elders that brought me and took me up under their wings. I'm grateful for all the cousins that supported me and gave me companionship, gave me a reflection to look back on. I'm grateful for every single woman, for every single man, for every single person that has come to me in brotherhood, in sisterhood, in siblinghood. I'm grateful because I would not be here without my chosen family. I'm grateful for the fact that I, at this age, allow myself to be loved. I know love because of my chosen family. I know love. There are lots of things that you can read about in a book. And there are lots of things you can be lectured and counseled on. And there are some things you learn by living. And I'm grateful because my chosen family allowed me to learn so much by living. And I made so many mistakes. I'm grateful for my chosen family for sticking with me even when I hurt them out of fear, when I hurt them out of my mental health, when I hurt them out of just not knowing that this was not the proper way to act in relationships. My chosen family saw something in me that my own blood family didn't. They saw me. They saw my worthiness. They saw my beauty. And it was worth all the trouble I came with. They saw my good heart and it was worth all the trouble I came with. They saw me and they loved me. And they rode with me and they, they cherished me and they checked me and they corrected me. And they stayed with me and they taught me and they allowed me to teach them they allowed me to, to correct them. They allowed me to be my full self with them. And for this, I am grateful. If you have to walk away from your family, prioritize creating your chosen family. Definitely do your healing work and prioritize that. But along with your healing work, prioritize creating your chosen family. Know that you are worthy of a chosen family. You are worthy of a family that loves you. You are worthy of a family that cares for you. You are worthy of a family that grows with you. 
My chosen family has set the, ba the bar high. I can never go back to my blood family because they don't do the work like my chosen family does. We heal together. We confront our, our BS together. We look at our problematic ish together. We stand in the fire when we hurt each other. And we're not perfect by any means. But the love that is here, that is between us, is so fucking real. I would bet my life on it. As a matter of fact, I have bet my life on it. And I have won each and every time. My chosen family knows who they are. So if you're watching this and you've been rocking with me the past 20, 22 years, thank you. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for teaching me. Thank you for supporting me, motivating me, inspiring me. Thank you for checking me. Thank you for holding me accountable. Thank you for everything. Chosen family saves lives. My chosen family saved my life. I'm looking forward to growing old with my people. I'm looking forward to continued fun with my people. I'm looking forward to more shenanigans with my people. I'm looking forward to living with my people. And I'm looking forward to becoming ancestors with my people. Thank you. Thank you to everybody who has been a part of my chosen family and is no longer a part of my chosen family due to whatever reasons. Thank you. Thank you to the part of my chosen family that is still rocking with me. Thank you, thank you, thank you, and thank you to any and all of my future chosen family. I love us. I love us. I love us. And for you, and for us, and for this, for my entire spiritual team, I am thankful. And that's that on healing. Thank you so much for listening to this video. Thank you so much for listening and being with me during this reflection. I really appreciate you. I do. I do. I do. If you made it to the end of this video, gold star for you. Thank you so much for your time and attention. It is valuable currency. And the fact that you're spending any of it with me is a blessing. You know the drill. If you like what I'm doing, if you like what you see, if you are feeling any of this and you are feeling any of me, make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. And make sure you hit that notifications bell so you can keep up with all of my shenanigans and happenings and goings ons and things. And on that note, I'm going to let you guys go. You have yourself a good morning, a good afternoon, a good evening, a good mid-morning, a good mid-afternoon, a good mid-evening, a good middle of the night, a good whenever you encounter this. You have yourself a good day. You have yourself a good morning. You have yourself a good month. You have yourself a good week, a good year, a good decade, a good life. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.